up, geeks, nerds, and all that line between. I'm just a common fan here, back with another video. Now, I have a package that I want to show you guys, and I do not know what's in the package. So, bear with me. Um, I ordered a package from Amazon. I do know that. But when I package arrived, I couldn't remember what I ordered. It was kind of a while ago. And so I wanted to just save it. I didn't want to check my account. I wanted to save it and open it up with you guys to uh, have a surprise unboxing video. So here we go. Uh, here's the package. Um, just your normal standard brown box. Now, this could be uh, something cool that I would love to share with you guys or something cool for my son that maybe you don't care about. But I want to make sure that I open this up and see what's inside. It's kind of heavy. It has some weight to it. I honestly can't remember what I ordered. So let's check it out. I did already open the top, but then I stopped myself and I said, how cool would that be to open it up with you guys? So I'm going to open it up. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. I ordered plastic shipping. No, I'm just Now, this may not become uh, be a surprise to you guys, and I'm clearly unbeknownst to myself wearing the right attire, but check it out. Wakanda! Oh my goodness. I do remember this now. I I was in uh, Barnes & Noble with my son looking at books, and I wanted to pick this up. They were having a sale, and I was like, uh, I don't know if I really want to pay that much for it, uh, because even though I'm a collector, I'm the cheap collector so I uh, went on Amazon and I saw it and I was like wow uh, it's the same price I don't want to pay that much and so I set up um, an alert for a price drop uh, using the uh, app you can put in your browser or the extension you can put in your browser called honey um, I think you guys should check it out and I remember I got an alert that this had dropped by like 20 25 dollars in price like half off and so i immediately jumped on it and got it but that, since i was buying it from a third party it took forever to get here and i forgot all about it oh my gosh all right we got to get into this uh all right i might cut this part here let me see i think i might have something here did that disappear in the frame i'm back all right i got something here let me open this up i want to do it very carefully because i don't want to i don't want to scar it up want to cut anything. All right, cool. There we go. All right, let's put this away. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Look at this slip cover. I'm normally not a fan of slip covers on books. I feel like this kind of get in the way. Uh, and they kind of get bent up and stuff. And shipping, like you can tell here, this got kind of a little bent up right there, which is fine. I mean, it, just kind of, it does kind of upset me, but what can you do? But uh, let's just get right into it. I just can't wait. Look at that spine. Look at the detailing on that spine. Look at, look at this front here. You got our king, T'Challa. Got the Dora Milaje. Got my girl, Okoye, Nakia. Black Panther, Killmonger on this side. You got the heroes. Got the villains. Got a cool... Oh, wow, that's cool. Got a cool little scene on the back of them fighting in the movie. Uh, spoilers, by the way. If you're one of the three people in the world that hasn't seen Black Panther, it's now the number one grossing superhero film of all time, maybe at the Avengers, then just kill yourself. No, no, I'm, I'm joking. No, don't, don't do that. But just go see the movie. Please go see the movie. Um, oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So I have checked out a couple of videos of this book online, but I haven't, um, uh, but I haven't seen this in person. So this is the actual hardcover of the book. It's got Discover Wakanda on the front. It's got Africa on the back, it doesn't really point to any specific place where Wakanda would be, but I think this is cool. It kind of looks like a like a college textbook, except one that you wouldn't want to resell uh, for three dollars when you paid like one hundred fifty for it. Um, why did they do that? Okay, anyway, um, so let's check it out. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of pages. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you if you want to go check out the book. Um, here you have the credits page, letting you know who all was involved in the book. It's written by. Ellen Rocios uh, is a foreword by the, the director Ryan Coogler. Um, man, really cool. Oh, wow. Guys, check out this artwork. Holy cow. Now, if you're not familiar with art of the movie books, especially for uh, Marvel movies, they're really cool because it's kind of, it's normally a mixture of concept art 
and ideas that they had for the film and some that they went with, some that they didn't go with. Um, here we got the, i show you guys this, not really a spoiler, table of contents page. That looks really cool. Man, I am so happy that, like, I remember ordering this, like I said, but I just, I, it was so long ago and it was back ordered because it's obviously super popular, so I didn't know it was coming out. Here's an awesome long foreword by Ryan Coogler. I can't wait to read that. There's an awesome picture of Stan Lee, the legend himself, who created Black Panther along with the legend Jack Kirby. My goodness. I'm sorry, guys. I promise. I'm just I'm geeking out right now because I honestly forgot I ordered this, and I think this is so cool. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that may have been in the trailers. Hopefully, maybe it won't spoil too much for you. Here's some concept art of Wakanda, just the city itself and the land around it. I think that's pretty cool. Also, we have oh some concept art for the throne scene. I think they've shown that. We got Shuri. And, and Okoye, well, I don't know, I don't really know if that's sure or not, but Okoye, that might be, that might be supposed to be Queen Mother on either side of our king. Loki? No, it's not Loki. <laughs> All right, oh my goodness. Oh, there's some concept art for the Jabari tribe in here. So yeah, so this book's gonna have concept art for all the tribes, concept art for costume designs for T'Challa, uh, Killmonger, Claw, um, oh, wow, yeah, this is one of the coolest things, I think that I would really like in the sequel for us to spend more time in the Jabari lands, because I think that the, the throne scene with M'Baku, I think was one of the coolest visual set pieces that they had in the film, I thought it was really cool, there's some concept art for that, man, I'm gonna tell you what, I am going to get me some snacks and i'm gonna find me a quiet place probably where my son is asleep and i'm going to enjoy the heck out of this book i mean the concept art in here is so good again i'm trying not to i don't want to spoil it for you but um oh wow maybe this will answer my question so if you've seen my other videos i've gone over why i don't understand why whenever they try to show black panther's suit powered up in toys it's always blue instead of purple like in the movie but maybe this is why check that out there's a concept picture of blue so maybe when the toys were being developed they were going to go for blue and at the last minute in post they decided to change it to purple which is what we got in the film and maybe that's why but you see they toyed around with the idea of having red um they toyed around with the idea with the suit itself changing design oh man i got it um there's one i gotta see some concept art here from a boy oh there's mbaku some concept art for man ape himself mbaku I, I've loved, the more I think about this movie, I mean, the more I just appreciate it. And M'Baku was just so funny. It's like, are you done? Are you done? Uh, you guys will probably watch this video and ask me, are you done? I'm just, oh my gosh. There's a car chases in here. Okay, I gotta show you this. A breakdown of Ulysses Claw's arm, his arm cannon. Oh my gosh. I, I, I used to buy these art books a lot more often. I used to buy them for video games as well. And then I kind of stopped because, you know, after a while, you got to put a cap on what you're collecting, especially if you don't have a bunch of space to put stuff in or a whole bunch of money to spend. And so I had to put a cap on it. But I mean, uh, I've been bitten by the bug again. I'm jumping in there. Here's some concept art for Shuri. I think this is the, actually the look that I ended up going with her battle scene, with her Panther Gauntlets. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Oh, okay. Got to show this. Got to show concept art for Okoye. Wow, I'm really happy they didn't go with this. It would have co covered up Denai's face a lot. But apparently there was a concept art here for her to have some battle armor when going into battle at the end against the Border Tribe and against uh, Killmonger. Oh, man. There's some concept art in here for Kamoyo beads, which uh, I'm not wearing because they're downstairs on the counter. I uh, wish I could have them to compare them to, but unfortunately I don't. What would really be cool in here, and I don't know if they have it or not. They may have it. Obviously, I haven't had time to go through the whole book yet, but what, because I just opened it with you guys, but what they may have in here, which I wish they did, was a Wakandan alphabet. I think it would be really cool. Um, oh, 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 okay. The, I'll probably end it with this. I got to show you guys this. All right, I, I'm going to show you all of it. I don't want to spoil the book for you. There's a lot of it in here, but... 
the concept art for the Golden Jaguar himself, Killmonger. Look at that. Oh my gosh, man. This is just beautiful. I just I love it. Oh man, look at this. Holy cow. Look at that. I'm sorry, I'm just really geeking out right now. This video is going to be way too long. I wanted it to be like five minute unboxing. It's probably going to be longer than that. I apologize. But yeah, that's it. I just want to show you this cool book. Uh, make sure you check it out if you're into it. I'm um, just flipping through to see if there's anything last minute I want to show you, but I don't think that there is. I think showing you that Killmonger design is probably how I want to end it. Uh, oh, there's T'Chaka. Okay, I'm sorry. I am going to have so much fun with this. If you haven't checked this out yet, go pick up your own copy of the art of Marvel Studios Black Panther. Sorry, I disappeared again. The art of Marvel Studios Black Panther. When you buy it in the store, this is what it's going to look like. This is the slip slip cover pretty cool design and then it looks like a college textbook but man so much cool stuff in here make sure you check it out like i said you can get it pretty much anywhere now maybe a lot of places are starting to sell out so check your barnes and noble um obviously amazon is always an option you know third-party sellers that are fulfilled by amazon are always an option so yeah make sure you get your hands on this check it out if you are a fan of the movie you're a fan of the set pieces the the art the costume let me tell you this is, oh my goodness, this is something you should get. Okay, I just saw something really cool, but I don't want to spoil it for you. So make sure you check it out. There is concept art in here for Nakia, for Queen Mother, for um, uh, Okoye, the Dora Milaje, different views of scenes. It's really great, just a great companion piece to the movie to really see kind of how the thought processes worked uh, in the process of making this movie. So again, discover Wakanda. The art of Black Panther, the movie. Oh my gosh, check it out. You're going to love it. Um, I think this is fantastic. I am truly geeking out about this right now. I cannot wait to go through this book. But um, make sure you check it out when you can. I think it's awesome. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a common fan. Hey, no, no, no.